The island of Okinawa, Japan is known to have the longest life expectancy in the world. What that means is that it's common for people to live well past 100 years old. I came here to find out why Okinawans are able to live such long and healthy lives and what I discovered will leave you stunned. It's 6.30 a.m. This is a morning exercise for elderly people. How do you feel after doing the morning exercise? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we can go in? Oh, please. Thank you. Hi, hi. <laughs> She's like everybody's favorite grandmother. Where you come in her house, she gives you tea and she gives you food and she makes you feel comfortable. We've just entered the amazing Okinawan kitchen. We have all these little bowls and cabinets here. So cool to be in this kitchen right now. We are about to feast. Look at this food. She's been preparing it in the kitchen, homemade, with a perfect touch. Look how many little dishes there are. Back in time. Do you enjoy life in your late 80s? Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's volunteer. Volunteer. Why Okinawa? Like, why are the people here able to live so long? Even in the inside of the house, they move, oh, they're always moving around inside of the house. So this is You're not lazy. No, no, not lazy. No, no. Just like a uh, house chore, house chore, it gives them a uh, good exercise. And this is miso. Ah, miso, 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 miso. miso. Ah, this is the rice, sashimi, the sea mackerel, stir fry pumpkin mixed with pork, potato, and mixed with uh, Okinawa seaweed called mozuku. Japanese food is the best of the best and it's going to be a great meal. Itadakimasu. <laughs> in, in the U.S. it's very rare that somebody lives to 90. For you, is it is it normal? Like most of your friends are still healthy. Do you actually know people that are over 100? Her mother-in-law passed away at the age of 105. 105, her mother-in-law. Yes. Wow. Wow. What is the key to living a long, happy life? Man. Feel excited and doing many things with people around her. Okinawa is a chain of tropical islands about 400 miles southwest of mainland Japan. I'm actually closer to Manila than I am to Tokyo, but this is a land that's completely different than the Japan you know of. Something just feels different here. There are no big cities and busy crosswalks. No neon signs, no cherry blossoms, or huge green forests or massive Buddhist temples. Instead, pristine white sanded beaches, hot springs, turquoise water, and beautiful coconut trees. The local dialect here is nowhere near that of mainland Japan. And how can you say arigatou gozaimasu? <laughs> In short, Okinawa is both a cultural phenomenon and a tropical wonderland with as many beautiful sights and laid back vibes as the Philippines. This is about as tropical as a beach can get. Look at the sand color. But you might know about Okinawa for other reasons than beauty. It was the site of the largest and deadliest campaign in the Pacific during World War II, mainly between Japan and the USA. Sadly, more than 100,000 casualties were reported and it was a major turning point in the war, leading to the atomic bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But that was almost 80 years ago, and even though there are reminders of the war around the island, as I'm walking around Okinawa, I can't help but notice the extreme American presence here. The truth is that many generations have passed, and life carries on. So, what's it like to live here? I mean, you're living, like, in nature, like, so close to nature, which is the best part of it, so. Like, we wake up in the morning in the summers, and when it's nice, we come down and we swim, and then we go help out at the farm, and then cook, and... Do whatever you are. It sounds like the most ideal lifestyle in the world. Yeah. <laughs> the main island is called Okinawa Island, which is where the airport and the capital city called Naha are located. It's also where more than 90% of Okinawa's 1.5 million residents are living. But somehow, it's so quiet and still. My reason for coming here is very specific. Okinawa is widely considered as the healthiest place on Earth, and I want to discover why. Everywhere I go here in Okinawa, I see plenty of elderly people just walking around the streets, doing tai chi at the park, riding bikes, or playing this croquet-like game called gateball. And it makes me think, maybe getting old isn't so bad after all. So this is a monument for the centenarian. 
A centenarian is a person who has lived to be a hundred years old or longer, and Okinawa literally has hundreds of them. I was lucky enough to meet one centenarian who is so lovely and sweet. When I showed up at her house, she was just chilling at home alone and doing chores all by herself at a hundred years old. I, I heard that you just turned a hundred. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> they give you this? It's the Japanese government, the Prime Minister will give this certificate. Wow! Congratulations! <laughs> How does it feel to be a hundred? <laughs> How do you stay busy in, in, in your day-to-day -day life? So she's always just staying busy around the house. Uh, he's training a bathroom in her really? legs. So he she bought that one. <laughs> the stepping machine. Really? <laughs> You're still training? <laughs> like that. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Do you receive any help from your, your kids or anybody in the community? I mean, mm. for getting dressed or bathing or you do everything by yourself? <laughs> she does everything all by herself. Wow, everything all by herself. <laughs> that's incredible. You, you make me look forward to getting older. <laughs> As you and I both know, a healthy life starts and ends with cuisine. I was taken around Okinawa by my local friends Mari and Sena and we couldn't stop eating because the food is that fresh and that tasty. This is pork from the island oh, and pork, about 80% right? of it the vegetables like are from Okinawa. So when you see a plate like this, it begins to make sense why Okinawa is the healthiest place in the world. <laughs> oh my god. Before I tell you more about what Okinawans eat, there's a valuable lesson in how they eat. Remember this term, hara hachi bu. Translation, stop eating when you are 80% full. Why? Because it takes 20 minutes for your stomach to send signals to the brain that it is full. It's important not to spend those 20 minutes shoving food down your throat. Just simply push the plate away. So in simple just... words, not overeating. <laughs> <laughs> so they just like, they don't binge eat. Like in the U.S., we would just keep eating, yeah. keep eating. They'll finish like what's on their plate, but you don't like put way too much on or yeah. anything. So it's you, like portion control. Yeah, yeah. Okinawa is filled with an abundance of fresh fruits, vegetables, and seaweed. In fact, they produce more seaweed than any other place in Japan. The main island is covered in farms and plantations for fresh vegetables. As you can see, there's an abundance of plants and vegetation here in Okinawa, which is partly why the cuisine is so healthy. This is a sugarcane plantation. That's pretty awesome. In summer season, my uh, planted a uh, sweet potato and mustard leaf. And uh, winter season, I planting and uh, the main uh, main plant is celery. Nice sponge cucumber. All Okinawan people like uh, this vegetable. This uh, Okinawan vegetable is uh, very healthy and contain uh, many minerals. In Okinawa, it's better than the mainland for vegetables. Yes, yes, uh, because uh, Okinawan soil is a many contain very minerals. Why do you have a badminton racket? Yes, we use in the such <laughs> such as sponge cucumber fruits. Oh, uh, so when you feel it. Yes. Even the beverages in Okinawa are healthy. Instead of water, many Okinawans choose tea and you can find incredible homegrown tea all over the island. My friends took me to a little hole in the wall tea shop and I was absolutely stunned. So they're all organic. They're all from the northern part of the island. How did you become such a tea enthusiast? All these medicinal herbs that grow like in the wilderness, they're very, very strong and like they'll live like no matter what. So by drinking them, we get that power like from nature as well. I love it. Yeah. Whoa, they all smell different. Yeah. Oh, she makes that one. All right, we are about to try this amazing looking tea. Cheers. You know, I've had a lot of cups of teas in my life and nothing has tasted like this, like the combination. That is so good. So this is that brown sugar that I saw on the market. And she served it, she said eat it with the tea. It looks like little rock candy. Pure sugar. Mm hmm Pure sugar. <laughs> if you drink this every day, you'll definitely live past 100. Mm -hmm. 
75. You're 75? That's crazy. I know. So in Japanese culture, you need to use two hands like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which of course. Mostly for like alcoholic drinks. Yeah, but she's like elderly, right? So you yeah. have to like respect. <laughs> so you must use two hands when you take or receive something. Not only is their tea healthy, but it's also their local liquor. Here, it's not sake, it's called awamuri. Healthy, very healthy. <laughs> Why is it so healthy? Vinegar, vinegar. Oh, it's making vinegar. <laughs> Whoa. I've never tried anything like that. Alright, so what is this one? This one's 30%. 30%. And it's made out of rice that was produced in Okinawa. Cool, cheers. <laughs> That tastes more like... Yeah, but the next one is... What, 90%? No, 51. Oh, it says it right here in <laughs> So she's making us try all of these bottles in a row. <laughs> and each of them gets stronger and stronger. This one's 51%. Okay. More of a taste. More of like a, a flavor. She wants you to try three. Okay, I'll try if you drink it with me. It's <laughs> Favorite, favorite. Favorite. Yeah, yes. Happy time? My, my, my happy time, yes. yes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you got the big one. Whoa. That one hits. It burns. So, what are the ingredients inside of the of that bottle? Just the rice and mm. then kurokoji king. It's a type of bacteria that okay. they use to make citric acid. <laughs> got it. There's no sugar in these drinks? So it breaks down the sugars in the rice mm. and that's where the sweetness comes from. So they can make it without like any sugar. So it has like zero sugar. What we've learned is that the local liquor here is so healthy. When they drink it, there's no sugar in it. It's like medicinal. So people can get drunk without gaining weight. Food and beverage is only one part of the equation for why Okinawans live longer than anyone else. The second part is staying active. Karate is one of the most well-known martial arts in the world and it was created in Okinawa. Have you ever seen that movie Karate Kid? The entire movie is based in Okinawa. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. This form of unarmed combat became popular in the 1400s and finally made its way to mainland Japan in the early 1900s when kids at school started practicing it. Karate got so popular worldwide that it debuted as an Olympic sport in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Did it go to Kiona? It's the most magnificent win for Japan. This takes me back to my days in Korea. I trained to get a black belt in Taekwondo, but that's all feet and kicks. This is all hands. Got a Zoom class going. There's people in Tokyo taking the class right now. Karate is a self defense. Mm. Okinawan traditional karate is a how not to fight, how not to lose, how to teach about uh, fighting. How many years have you been doing karate? Uh, uh, 15 years old. Now he's 72 years old. Wow. Uh, how does it make you feel that you're still doing it all these years? Every time he comes here and he's expecting, I can feel something extraordinary feeling in a everyday casual life because he is looking for the access to support. Aside from karate, Okinawans have this thing called moi. It basically means a tight-knit community of five or more people who regularly meet up, whether it's shopping or eating or doing sports. It helps them maintain a social life into their old age, and almost everyone does it. Many studies have shown that social connection improves health and longevity by reducing stress. It depends on the moi, but Every person when they gather pays like maybe $50 or like $100 and they put it into a pot and someone takes it home. It like circles back and they go in order. So it all comes back to you at one point. So it's like a plus minus zero type of thing. Whoa. I think this moi is one of the secrets to how people live so long and enjoy their life in their 80s and 90s. It has to be one of the factors why. Because I never heard of something like that. I'm telling you guys that the elderly people here are very social and it's absolutely amazing. Do you want beer? Yeah. Beer. Yeah. I buy for you. <laughs> Two beers? Thank you. Oh, thank you. I got the exam. Yeah. What's your name? Drew. Hey? 
Drew. Drew. You? You? Yo, yo, my, my name is Hiroshi. Hiroshi. Hiroshi, yeah. Hiroshi. Dangerous. Huh? Dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> what a moment this is, just chilling at this bar with all these old men, drinking beer, local beer in Okinawa, Japan. It's me. That's you, yeah. <laughs> the little screen, see that? <laughs> He's just pounding sake over here. Japan is by far the most interesting culture in the world. The elderly community here stays active by tackling chores together, and the kinds of sports that they play do not stop at karate. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. It's so cute how all the old people come here and they all just start working immediately. They're sweeping, they're cleaning, they're brushing. Unbelievable, it's so special to witness this and they all look so happy. This game is basically like croquet meets a putting contest. And it's fun. Oh, good shot. There we go. Got it. Yogi Jikan Yogi Jikan Who's the winner? She's the winner? Good job! After spending three amazing days in Okinawa, I can finally understand why this island is the home of the world's oldest people. They live so happy, healthy, and carefree in this beautiful land with rich soil. I feel very happy traveling here, and this story was just so enriching to make. In a world where we're all so scared to get old and die, it's exactly the opposite in Okinawa. Old age is celebrated, and it actually gives me hope for the future. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed making this story and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, just want to hop on here real quick and say thank you for watching this story in Okinawa. It was an absolute blast to film it. And I know it's a little different than my normal like energetic, upbeat adventures travel stories, but I think this one is really impactful and I hope you enjoyed. And secondly, I just want to say that my South Sudan cow tribe video is available to watch only on my website on a pay what you want model. The reason I did this is because I uploaded it to my YouTube channel a few weeks ago and YouTube flagged it and demonetized it for various parts of the video, such as the urine shower. And I think it's absolutely crazy that I'm not able to get this video seen out to the world because I spent so much time and energy and money on making this story. It's my biggest video of all time. And if you want to support my career as an independent filmmaker and support the creator economy and help out so I can continue telling these epic stories around the world, then I'd appreciate if you could donate something as small as five or ten dollars and you can watch the video. And I promise, this is like Netflix quality. It is amazing. My team and I spent over a month full time editing this thing. It is absolutely epic. I know you guys are gonna love it. So click that link below in the description to watch it. The first 300 donors are going to be invited to an exclusive Zoom Q&A call where I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of the video and also answer any of your travel questions. And the top three donors are going to get a 15 minute private Zoom call with me and you can ask me anything you want. So thank you guys so much for your support and whether you choose to pay for that video or not, thank you for being here and watching my stories. I feel like they're getting better and better and your comments are definitely heard and I really appreciate it and respect. I'm going all in on this channel and my second channel for telling the most epic stories around the world and I'm really grateful for you guys. So have a great day and I will see you next week. Thank you.